What's up, YouTube? It's Kenny again. Sitting at a rest stop. Just took me a bomb shower. Van life shower. Uh, I got to... Uh, man, I got to do some messed up stuff with my clocks to make this delivery. So I'm, I know you guys don't understand it, but I got to freeze my clock and then resume driving at like four in the morning to make it over four five six about three thirty in the morning to make it over there for the delivery and then that doesn't complete my break so then i'll have to do some other crazy shit to get my hours back it's kind of a pain in the ass how this one worked out but sometimes it happens all right yeah full on summer gear didn't didn't wear a hat didn't put my hair back sorry guys but uh it is what it is uh, and I'm about to start in on the night night juice because I got to uh, I got to do all this crazy shit. I'm gonna have to get me a nap, and I'm not tired. So a little bit of night night juice, make a video. Uh, nothing special to talk about. I, I kind of got some stuff to rant about. Maybe we'll call this real talk. Uh, so thus far, like. Throughout all this time, I have not joined any kind of van life Facebook groups or anything. I'm on Facebook a lot. Uh, it's something that I can do while I'm going down the road and, you know, whatever. Uh, but I haven't joined any van life groups. And I decided to go look at a van life group and join it, and I did. And if anybody's found this channel from that group yet, I posted a video in there. I don't think any of them have subscribed or anything. But, uh, you know, this... This rant is not meant toward anybody in particular, all right? It just seems like more of the same in there. Like, uh, a lot of the stuff that gets a bunch of likes and the stuff that everybody's posting, like, I'm just seeing the, the same shit of somebody that, that bought a fucking Mercedes Sprinter or some kind of a Sprinter van and spent, I mean, it has to be an ungodly amount of money that they're spending on the inside of these things. Don't, doing all this super special, let's get it on the cover of a magazine, fashion show, van life shit. And then the picture zooms out and there's like two or three hundred watts of solar on it. Like, I, I don't get it. You know, I just don't get it. I don't understand why people spend a bunch of money in the wrong spot like I don't understand it 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 doesn't make any sense to me like the, you can't get one of those vans for less than I don't know 30 grand for one of those vans and that's like the ones that you find that are like 30 grand, they got like 150,000 miles on them, 200,000 miles on them, and they want 30 grand for them. So if they're getting them in any kind of good mechanical shape, I mean, they're paying 50 grand for these vans, you know. And then what are they spending? Another 20 plus just on the interior, like making it all fashion show pretty and and everything and you know they're nice don't get me wrong they're nice but I'm gonna tell you something right now come summertime they are gonna be hating life just sweating dying in the heat sleeping in 85 degrees and fuck it's gonna be miserable like I it makes no sense to me Does it make sense to you? Like, why would you spend that much money? And those those Sprinter vans, Mercedes, Ford, whatever, those Sprinter vans, you can't find parts for them. They're hard to work on. They're expensive as fuck to take into a shop and get worked on. It, it Yes, you can stand up in it, okay? Yes, you can stand up in it. All right, but god damn guys like talk about just wasting your resources and it's just like it feels to me like one of two things is occurring either these people are making two hundred thousand dollars a year and they got a bunch of money to just blow on this thing or 
they're putting themselves in debt to the point that their fucking payment on their van is six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. Like, how is that? What? Like, it, it doesn't make a lick of fucking sense to me. Like, is van life a fashion show? Like, it, I don't think that it should be. made a couple posts in there, you know, and uh, one was just to kind of see, you know, I was asking, is anybody out there running air conditioning on their solar, and, you know, how are you making it happen, or something, I just kind of wanted to feel it out, and see if anybody in there is actually, like, on the same track that I'm on, sure doesn't look like it, maybe one or two people had a, a comment that, made me think that maybe they were making it happen, but most of them were like, not unless you got a giant battery bank, and not unless you got shore power, not unless you're on a generator, and uh, I'm just like, it don't make any sense to me, guys, like, that's climate control and electricity is like number one priority, on, on, right behind, number two priority, right behind a van that runs and drives good with low miles that you can work on and doesn't cost a fucking fortune to get worked on. Like, those are the two main concerns. A totally mechanically sound vehicle that is not the Jaguar of vans that's going to cost you fucking five grand every time you have to take it in the shop. And comfort. Like, climate control, electricity, comfort. And I've had some exchanges with some people in there that, you know, you know how it is on the internet. You know, people get, they pop off and smart off because they uh, think you're a dumbass or, you know, most people in there probably, you know, no offense, but, you know, mo most people on the internet are kind of dumbasses, you know what I mean? And uh, ask stupid questions and shit. And, you know, they pop off and I'm like, hey man, like, I ain't the one, you know, basically. <laughs> I, I ain't the one to pop off to because I know what I'm fucking talking about, you know. Uh, one one person was like, if you know how to do it, then why are you asking people? I'm like, man, I'm just trying to, like, see who's doing what and, you know, see if maybe there's some better ideas or what, what everybody's doing and stuff. And, uh, you know, try, try to be nice about it, you know what I mean? But it, it's the Internet and y'all who know me well know that I know all about the internet <laughs> you're not going to get one over on me uh, by being a troll or, or thinking I'm a dumbass and get schooled uh, yeah this certainly is a real talk video but I don't know I just it, it makes me think that like when I accomplish what I'm going to accomplish I'm going to be one of the only ones out there guys like I'm going to be one of the only ones out there that's running an air conditioner overnight and staying nice and comfy and cool and warm and you know like because these these guys are like totally seem to be focused in the wrong area and I'm, I'm telling you what the problem is okay the problem is that it's like the blind leading the blind so you so the the people who want to build a van, all they do is research on van life sites and on van life YouTubes and van life everything. And so they're learning these strategies from others like them. And the, the problem with that is that the vast, vast majority of these people doing van life, like, they don't know anything about insulation. They don't know anything about, like, and I don't mean, like, they haven't done some research, but they did some research from other van lifers and looked how they were doing insulation. So the strategies that they're using for insulating these vehicles are just all wrong, you know. And the the then they're, they're looking, okay, where... Where do I get solar panels? Where do I get batteries? And when you're looking in the van life community for that stuff, everybody is using like 
Renogy and Bouge RV and Battleborn batteries. They're using all these certain brands that are marketing to and targeting the van life community. And so, like, you know, I was just looking at some solar panels on Bouge RV, right? They, they got this, they, it's a 200 watt solar panel. And they want like 240 bucks for it. They want like 240 bucks for it. They they have a 200 watt that's like, I forget what it is, it's bifacial or something, and and they want like 400 dollars for it, guys. Like, you can literally go down to your local, you know, whatever solar place you've got near you that like does residential type solar, and get a 400 watt solar panel for like 250 bucks. 455 watt residential solar panel at Signature Solar is like 279. That's like what, 70 cents a watt or something like that? And these guys are paying like a dollar twenty-five a watt, two dollars a watt, three dollars a watt in some cases. Like, and don't even get me started on batteries. Like the batteries, like a Battleborn battery is like 800 something. They've come down. They were a thousand. They're like 800 and something dollars, not including any kind of shipping or anything, for a 100 amp hour battery. That's 1200 watts. That's like nothing, you know, 800 bucks. So two 100 amp hour batteries from Battleborn would cost you like 1600 and something, okay? For 14.99, you can go to get you an EG4, the best made, best BMS, probably the best battery on the market right now. It's a server rack battery, 400 amp hours for $14.99. So basically you're getting twice what you would get for $1,600 for less. Twice. And it's a better battery. And if you, if you go to the, the like Chinese stuff like EnjoyBot is the one that I'm planning to buy. You can get two 280 amp hours. That's 7, 000, 7 kilowatts. 7,000 watts you can get for 1,700. So for the price that you're getting 2,400 watts for from Battleborn you can get 7,000 watts. And it's still a good quality battery. You know, there's not, not a damn thing wrong with the battery. Uh, it just doesn't, it just defies logic that people are just so lazy that they won't do enough research to figure out that they're getting raped on the prices. Just raped. Uh, it, it drives me nuts. I'm enjoying being in there because I like seeing how they're all like uh, talking about stuff uh, and and just looking at what they're doing on some of this stuff that and, and not everything you know what I mean but some of the stuff they're talking about you know and like this one person in there he was making some comments and I went and looked at some of his past posts and he has been straight up just wasting money trying to get this fucking roof mount Dometic uh, like RV style air conditioner to work on solar and it's like they have no understanding of any of it you know like they've done no research they're just like okay well this is a supposed to be an RV air conditioner those motherfuckers pull 1500 watts and he spent a bunch of money on an easy start and all because a soft start to make it so he could run it on an inverter and stuff and that's like the right thing to do but the thing about it is in order to run that thing overnight, you're going to need like 15 kilowatts, 15,000 watts of electricity. And there is no way in hell that you charge that back up the next day. Like 15 kilowatts, like, nah, -uh. you have to have three, 3,500, 4,000 watts of solar panels to charge that much energy back in a day. Like it's impossible to fit that on a fan. And, uh, like, 
it just makes me think like what are you thinking you're just like wasting just throwing money in the trash you know what i mean when if you would just spend some time to do a little research and learn about what you're doing you would immediately recognize that there's no way that's going to work you know it's it's just it's maddening it's maddening and it and it makes me think that like when i get my shit done and people see what mine's going to be able to do they're just all going to just be if they even pay attention you know or believe and that's fine if they don't but if they do like they're all just going to be scratching their head like how did the fuck did he do that when it's basic it's fucking basic it's basic math and basic research about how to make this shit work. I, I, I know I'm not that fucking smart compared to everybody else, all right? I, I mean, I know I'm pretty smart, you know, but I know I am not that smart compared to everybody else on the fucking planet, you know what I mean? Like the, that percentage, that many people cannot make a fucking van that they can be comfortable in without just always being out in the winter. If you're always out in the winter, you just get your little diesel heater and you stay comfortable. You know what I mean? But in the summer, you're fucked. Like, you're fucked. You're in an oven. You don't have some kind of climate control. I mean, I guess, and there's a lot of them in there that live in Europe and stuff like that, too, and maybe that makes a big difference. I know that, like, uh, in Canada and stuff, it's not, it doesn't get as hot like it does here, and, and you can move with the weather and avoid it to, or avoid the 100 degree heat anyway, uh, but, I mean, why not just make it so that you can go wherever you want? I mean, sure, you're, you're not going to defeat 110 degree Texas heat, but you certainly can stay cool at night. You certainly can make it so that you can sleep cool. And it don't make a lot of sense to me to not at least, like, do the math and do the work and spend the money in the right place so that you're comfortable. I, I honestly don't understand it. And, you know, to a certain extent, I do understand, like, the, the whole, like, you want a really pretty rig, and you want to, like, if you're just going out on the weekends, or you're just going to do it some in the winter, or, you know what I mean, something like just weekend warriors and stuff, but a lot of these people seem to be perpetrating like they're going to do van life, you know, and that ain't van life, that's like an RV, you know what I mean, you know, you're going to go to a to an RV park and plug in to the wall, you know what I mean? Plug into the grid. Like, that ain't what this thing's about to me. You know, and I I think that it's become that. It's become that uh, because of, like, Instagram and, you know, YouTube and stuff. And people want to, like, fight for views and, you know. But I don't know, like, it just, that doesn't appeal to me. Like, the whole, the whole point of it to me is to get out from under the thumb of all this fucking societal bullshit that we have to deal with. And if you, how are you going to do that if you got an $800 a month van payment and you're having to park in RV parks so you can plug in? And, like, it's, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if I was going to go plug in and stay in RV parks and shit like that I'd spend my 20 grand on a fucking travel trailer you know I, if I was going to spend a hundred thousand dollars so I could go travel around and go to RV parks and shit it wouldn't be in a van <laughs> you know like that it doesn't make any sense to me like uh, anyway that's that's a rant it's just a rant. 